I am Salama to Garba from the Women Farmers Advancement Network, Kano, Nigeria. I am the founder of the program. One of our greatest achievements in this program is that we have tried to address the needs of women through the use of participatory approaches. Women identified their problems and categorized them. And we decided to take these issues based on priority. This was what brought Wolfan into the issue of the water and sanitation, which stands at the forefront in northern Nigeria, where you find most of the girls not going to school, and they have to trek long distances to get water. Hygiene was also a problem. Issues of sanitation and the dignity of the woman was also a problem. And these were the issues that Wolfan has come out to address. Right now, Women has, uh, Wofan has built the capacity of women in the areas of providing their own water, in the areas of hygiene and sanitation, in the areas of hand pump repairs and maintenance. Wofan, in partnership with USAID, has sunk over 1,500 boreholes in four states of northern Nigeria. But we did not stop at that program. We have built the capacity of women to maintain these boreholes. Otherwise, you will find millions of boreholes lying without uh, being functional. So now these women can do basic things like uh, repairing the boreholes. They can also build slab to address sanitation option issues. Then we have given women the confidence so that they can come out and speak on issues that affect them. One of the major programs for Wofan is the Speak Out Forum for Rural Women, where they can record their issues, they can air it on radio, and make sure that it gets to the right policy makers to see that they get solutions to their problems. Women now take the lead to visit leaders to be able to get uh, issues addressed. I'll give you one recent example. To mark the International Father's Day, Women, rural women visited the local government chairman and the leaders, and they got motivated and gave them a donation of a hectare of land, which they are using for income generation in addition to water resources around their facilities. Conclusively, from this program, we have seen that if you give women an opportunity, you give them a voice and you give them skills they'll be able to address whatever the problem is. And women are key players in their own development. We are therefore advocating for the development and capacity building for women and giving them an opportunity.